church friends. It is Sunday, May 23rd. I hope you've had a good week. Um, we're getting really close to the end of school for most of us. Maybe some of you are already done. Um, we have some exciting things going on in our church this morning. We are um, celebrating our graduates, people who have graduated or are graduating from high school and college. And we're also celebrating our confirmands. Um, these are students a little bit older than you who have go gone through classes all year. Um, and they are committing to being members of the church. So there's four of them, and that's very exciting, something that you may look forward to when you are their age. Um, so the, our week, this lesson, our week, again, is about love, and love is the closeness and the connection that we feel with God and with others. So I want you to think about what are some ways that you show love to the people in your life? Do you show it with little notes? Do you show it with hugs? Do you show it with words? Do you show it with actions? What happens when you show people you love them? How do they react? What would happen if we tried to love everyone we met? Just imagine that. I don't know if that would always work out really well for us. So our lesson, our story this week from the Bible is uh, Acts 2, 1 through 41, the Pentecost. The disciples were waiting in a house. Suddenly a sound like wind filled the, sound like wind filled the entire house. The disciples looked around and saw little flames of fire on each of them. It was the Holy Spirit, God's Spirit that would be with them always. The disciples began to speak other languages. They were all surprised. Some asked each other, what does this mean? People outside the house heard the noises. What is happening, the people wondered. Peter told the people, God has sent the Holy Spirit to us. That is what you have heard. The people listened to Peter. He told them about Jesus. Peter helped the people to believe in Jesus and told them to be baptized. The Holy Spirit will be given to you, Peter told the people. The people believed and were baptized. And we have a video. So Pentecost originated as a Jewish feast and pilgrimage is when people travel from one place to the other holiday, which occurred 50 days after Passover. It also is considered the birth of the Christian church. On Pentecost Day, many people gathered in Jerusalem, including the disciples, and they heard this great wind. 
and when people started to speak in different languages. However, they were able to understand each other. Can you imagine that? Someone suddenly speaking French or German, a language that you don't know, but you can understand what they're saying. They explained that they were able to do that because of the Holy Spirit. So I hope you've enjoyed our story this week. Um, I hope you have a great week coming up. And as I said, a lot of us are finishing up our school year. So enjoy that. Enjoy those special things that you get to do at school on the last couple days. Um, with that, we'll say a prayer and I'll send you on your way. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time together. Thank you for the week we've had. Please watch over us as we head into our new week, as we maybe are finishing up school and beginning summer. Thank you for the love of our in our lives, the love of others, and your love. Please help us to show love in all the ways we do. Amen.